Here are the video solutions for AQA Functional Skills Level 2 Maths. This is paper one, which is non-calculator. So let's just take a look at question number one, circle the largest number. So this could cause a little bit of difficulty because they are decimals and they are decimals of different lengths. So what I would suggest doing is write them in a column. So 0 0.756, um, 0 0.76. Make sure the columns are more or less in line, otherwise you might uh, create further confusion, 0 0.7 and 0 0.7516. Now because they are of different lengths that does make this slightly um, awkward so the best thing to do is add zeros so that they all have the same length. So the longest one has got uh, four decimal places so I'll add a zero to make the first one have four decimal places. I'll add two zeros here and I will add three zeros here. So now they are all the same length. If we look at uh, well, the units column, 0, 0, 0, 0, so there's no way to tell them apart there. In the tenths column, we've got 7, 7, 7, 7, so no way to tell them apart there either. But if we look in the one hundredths column, we've got a 5, a 6, a 0, and a 5. Well, what is the biggest out of those numbers? Well, 6 is bigger than 5 and it's bigger than 0, so this must be the greatest number, 0 0.7600, 0, 0, except we added those two zeros, so the number is just the 0 0.76 which is the second option here. Okay, uh, work out uh, 22 minus 7 minus 5 cubed. So this is a question all about bid mass. So first of all, we need to deal with these uh, brackets. Now inside the brackets, we have 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. So let's rewrite the question. It's now 22 take away 2 cubed. So we've done the brackets. The next is the I, the indices that is we need to do the um, 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times by 2 times by 2 which is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8. So the question is now 22 take away 8 and 22 take away 8 is 14 so that is the answer. Let's move down to question 3 5 sixths plus 1 third well we can't add fractions when the number on the bottom is different but um, threes go into six. Um, three is a factor of six. Six is a multiple of three. So what I can do is turn the one third into a certain number of sixths. Um, the bottom number has been doubled. So for an equivalent fraction, as long as I double the number on the top, we're, we're okay. So one third is the same as two sixths. So the question is now five sixths plus two sixths, which is seven sixths. And I would usually convert a, um, an improper fraction into a mixed number. 7 6, that is the same as 1 and 1 6. So the answer there is 1 and 1 6. Okay, question number 4, 1.302 divided by 6. Um, this question is no more difficult than 1302 divided by 6. Um, I'm not sure if that makes life easier for you or not. Uh, so we need to use a bus stop method here. So the only difference be uh, between this being 1302 and 1.302 is we just need to put a dot directly above the dot um, on top of the bus stop. How many sixes go into one? Well, that can't be done, zero. Move the one across. 13 divided by six is two with a remainder of one. 10 divided by six is one with a remainder of four. 42 divided by 6 is 7. So there we go, 0 0.217. Okay, right in digits, 27,043,060. Now, what we need to remember is that whenever, with words like trillion, billion, million, and thousand, that is where we can put a comma. Now, this makes this nice and easy. So we can write 27 million as 27. For the million, it's the comma. 43,000, now the thousand is gonna be the next comma. Now, in between every comma, we need to write uh, three digits. So I can't just write 43. It's gonna to have to be 043. And similarly, after this comma, I can't just write 60. That has to be 060. So there we go, 27, comma, 043, comma, 060. The commas are optional, but they do help um, you understand how to turn worded numbers into figures or even how to read these numbers here. So remember this first comma is for thousand, this next comma is for million.
Moving on to section B, um, Troy works in the call centre. On Monday, he receives 15 phone calls. So we can see here that the total is 15, that tallies. Um, so we can see the breakdown of these 15 calls. We know that four of them were between zero and 10 minutes, three between 10 and 20, six between 20 and 30, and two between 30 and 40. Troy's got a target to keep the average length of the calls to 20 minutes or less, and we need to work out an estimated mean time. Now, the reason it's an estimated mean time and not an uh, exact mean is because we're dealing with grouped data here. These four phone calls here, we don't know if they, they might have all been 10 seconds in length or they might have been nine minutes, 59 seconds. We, we don't know. So the best we can do is assume that they were all exactly halfway between zero and 10, so five. That's why we've got this midpoint column. So what this means is we've got four phone calls that took an estimated five minutes each. So the total duration of those four calls is 20 minutes. So four multiplied by five. So here we're multiplying the frequency by the midpoint. That's what this column here is for. Three times 15 is 45. So we're just doing exactly the same for the um, other rows as well. Six times 25 is 150 and two 35s are 70. So what we, what we can do now is work out the total of all 15 calls by adding up these subtotals. Zero plus five plus zero plus zero is five. Two plus four is six. Six plus five is um, 11. 11 plus seven is 18. Eight carry the one. One plus one is two. So we've got 15 calls that lasted 285 minutes. So the estimated mean is 285 divided by 15. Now we can't use a calculator here. So we're gonna to have to use a bus stop method, which isn't a lot of fun when you're dividing by a two digit number. So um, two divided by 15, that can't happen. So move the two across 28 divided by 15, or that is one. 115 is 15. So what's the difference between 15 and 28? Or well, that is a difference of 13. So it's still quite tricky, but a little bit easier than before. So now we're dividing 135 by 15. So probably the best thing to do here is just to write out the 15 times table. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, uh, 105, 120, 135. Oh, perfect, so 135 is in the 15 times table. So how many 15s is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so what this means is that the um, estimated mean time is 19 minutes. And this is the, the key um, bit of maths that you need to show. You, you need to show you've got this answer of 19. Um, so is that less than 20 minutes? Well, yes it is. So does the estimated mean time of these phone calls meet his target? So we can just say, yes, target is met. Okay, let's take a look at part B. So customers are asked to rate their experience from one to five. So here are the ratings down the bottom. We've got frequency up the side. So that is the number of one star, two star, three star ratings. So let's just work out what how many people said it was one star. So uh, that goes up to three. For two is one less than 10, so nine. Three goes up to two less than 20, so that is 18. Four goes up to one less than 35, so that is 34. And five goes up to one more than 25, so that is 26. So what I'm gonna do first of all is work out um, how many people were giving this rating um, by adding these numbers together. So 26, 34, 18, nine and three. So that's a total of 10, 18, 27, 28, 29, 30, carry the three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there are 90 in total. So out of the 90, how many said it was poor? How many said one or two? Well, that is nine plus three, which is 12. So 12 out of 90 is the answer. However, it does say here, give your answer in its simplest form. So we've got two even numbers, so we can divide the top and the bottom by two. So that is six over 45. And this can be simplified again, although 45 is odd and six is even, uh, that means we can't divide them by two again, but let's try three. Three goes into six and three goes into 45. Six divided by three is two, 45 divided by three is 15. So in its simplest form, the answer is two fifteenths. 
And the final part of question six is about Troy's salary. So one year, Troy is paid a salary of £20,370. And we know that he pays income tax. Now, the first £12,570 that he earns is tax-free. He only pays tax on um, anything, every pound he earns that is above 12,570. So what we need to do is work out the difference between 2370 and 12,570. So 2370 take away 12,570. Zero take away zero is zero. Seven take away seven is also zero. Three minus five, well that can't be done, so we need to borrow. But the next column is a zero, so we need to borrow from column to the left of that. So this two becomes a one, so the ten, the zero can become a 10. Now we can borrow from this column, so this 10 becomes a nine, the three becomes 13. 13 take away five is eight, nine take away two is seven, one minus one is zero. So he pays tax on 7,800 pounds. So we need to work out 20% of 7,800 pounds. Well, that's nice and easy because 10% is uh, or this amount here divided by 10, so just chop off a zero. 10% is 780, so therefore 20% is going to be 780 times by two, or 780 plus 780. Um, zero plus zero is zero, eight plus eight is 16, carry one. Seven plus seven is 14, plus the one is 15. So he pays um, 1,560 pounds tax, and he also pays £1,296.24 in national insurance. If we're adding them together, you might want to put a decimal point and a couple of zeros on the £1,560. Make sure you put a decimal point in line in the answer box. 4 plus 0 is 4, 2 plus 0 is 2, 6 plus 0 is 6, uh, 6 plus 9 is 15, 5 carry 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 plus 1 is 2. So that is um, the final answer which is £2,856.24.